So today I am going to be showing off my uh, portable painter. Actually quite an excellent little uh, watercolor uh, portable box. As you can see I have my iPhone 6s here, not the plus, so not the huge one. You can see it's pretty comparable, very nice, uh, fits into my pocket quite nicely. I am uh, chronically ill, so I really appreciate uh, watercolor um, portable sets that I can use anywhere because anywhere includes my bed. First thing to note about the portable painter is that this little thing slides off. Now the downside is that this little thing can get lost. I did talk to them and they say they're going to have once they get everything more set up, they're going to have like um, a little a little store where you can buy um, more of these and where you can also buy the little pans, although Windsor and Newton sized pans will fit in here. Most other normal half pans will not. These two come off very easily. Uh, they are extremely sturdy. Uh, I was afraid that they would tip over easily, but even when they're standing by themselves, they, they, they don't. And they fall over even less often when they have water in them. In fact, I've never had these fall over, so that's pretty amazing. First thing to notice is that, well, first of all, I don't quite have 12 paints yet. Um, someday I will, but these are little Windsor Newton pans. Um... So I actually have mine stuck in with a little blue tack, a little poster tack. Uh, you only need that much and then they're pretty much ready to go. Easy to take out, easy to put in. Um, and with blue tack, they won't fall off. However, the little brush that comes with it did fall out. Let's talk about the gazillion wash areas, mixing areas. So, these are huge. Um, these are big. These are, I think, a little over one inch across, and so they can fit in a huge brush. Now, this is my um, silver brush oval wash. It's a one inch wash. It's pretty freaking huge, and it fits in so so easily here. Carefully, easily, so I can scoop up all the stuff and. Spread it out, and then there's a bunch of other little ones here. Uh, you can see, I believe you can see some staining on this palette. I've been using it and all that, and the colors I use are, um, I use a Thalo Blue Red Shade, and the Quinacridon Magenta and the Quinacridon Rose um, do stain quite a bit. So you can still see, but it's actually fairly light staining for a palette. So you'll notice that this place is not very big. So there's a reason this little brush is so tiny. It's very thin. Any, almost any other travel brush is going to have issues fitting in here. Uh, the exceptions are obviously this little brush. This is a Whiskey Painters number no. 2 travel brush. Uh, fits in quite happily there. The thinnest travel brushes, I believe, are rosemary brushes, and those, according to Tio Ye Tio Yichi, I'm um, sorry if I got your name wrong. Rosemary brushes, travel brushes, will fit in here just fine. Anything else like Da Vinci or silver brush travel um, voyage will not fit in. They're too thick. It comes with this little brush. This is actually, it's got a little, even a little brush in here. This is acrylic and it's, I don't know, it's, well, it's acrylic. It's not particularly grand or anything, but supposedly there will be replacements for these little brushes available in whatever little shop they set up eventually as well. These hold a fair amount of water. I believe this is like... I believe this is over half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of water in each. It's got little divots so you can rest your brush. Because the brush is at an angle, 
you actually have a larger space in which to dip your other brush in case you really, really need to. Because this is really thin, once you pour water in, you can easily, and you've used it and now you're done, you can easily pour it out into any like small waste container that you may have with you in order to later dispose of your watercolor water in a responsible manner. It's easiest to slide, them, slide the um, water basins in when the palette is closed and they slide in really easily. Even for me, who is quite a wuss uh, when it comes to pressing things, uh, this actually works pretty well. You, have, you do have to get it grooved in just right, but once you do, it works like a charm. The only thing that I don't like about this set and it is because when you're working with the palette, um, you may prefer it to face this way or the other way depending on which of the wash areas you're working on. So, you know, that's fine. The problem is that if you're like me and you're like, okay, so this is where the dirty water is and this is where the clean water is and then you turn it around, you'll get them mixed up and that's really frustrating for me. I don't know how to fix that, but I would really love it if they sold these little basins in different colors so that I could like mix and match and uh, make it so that the basin that's for the dirty water or whatever is like one color and then I hopefully won't screw up quite as much uh, because because see the the yellow here the lemon yellow is a bit of a victim of one of my screw ups during one of those times yeah I, I hate this brush <laughs> I mean it fits in and you know if you're if you're painting a little tiny thing, it'll work, but it's acrylic. It's not, the sh it's not the worst acrylic in the world, but I really don't like it. I wish I had a rosemary brush, but I don't, so I just have these. The thing I really love about this palette, as opposed to almost any other palette, is that the pans are separated by a plastic border that's pretty wide and it keeps them from contaminating each other. They're inset, so you have a nice kind of slanted surface to wipe your brush off, but they also contain any splatters, so it's really hard for the pans to contaminate each other, which I think is brilliant and I love it. I love the set so much just for that feature alone. There's this really nice rolling area here so you can easily just sort of like sort of stroke your brush for more moisture control. Now it's time for the huge brush. Now this fits in so nicely into here. The huge width here which is very much appreciated. Those are my adventures with the portable painter. I love it so very much. It's very worth it, even if the little brush inside is kind of terrible.